Hello, welcome everyone to today's session. In the last session, we saw subscription based model. How the subscription based model works in theory as well as in the life system and how is it different from consumption based model. Just a quick recap in subscription based model as we if we have the option to do configuration such that it doesn't use SAP CC. If we do that then instead of consumption I data records which being created from provider order directly we can create billable items. These billable items can then be further used to create billing document and invoicing document which is uh, which is exactly the same as just like how we saw during consumption based model. Also we saw that how subscription based model automatically can do prorata, prorata where if instead of the from date and to date being for the complete month if it is in between the month then automatically SAP CI will do the calculation and will only charge us based on the number of days we uh, consumed in a month. So now let's see um, our topic for the today which is event based model. Event based model is also known as one time charge. The event based model is a hybrid model that uses consumption based model as a starting point and adds different event which influences the life of the product to charge customers. These events can range from simple events such as activation or deactivation of service or device to more complex events such as suspension of a device usage and charging customer a prorated rate. Unlike a subscription or consumption based model which has billing events triggered at regular intervals, event based model billing events are triggered based on events or milestones. These events are typically decided as part of the contract and will be configured into the system. These events can automatically be triggered based on the life cycle or manually triggered by either the customer or the company. As a result, as soon as the contract reaches a certain milestone of its life cycle, the billing event will trigger. Example charges incurred for activation of mobile SIM or installation charges for installing a charging dock for electric vehicles in our home. If you look at this diagram, we can see that based on different trigger event in the timeline of the product, a billing event is generated and each billing event is associated with a different billing account amount. For example, trigger event 1 could be the activation of a service. Trigger event 2 could be the extra charges incurred in, in case of upgradation or downgradation. So this is how usually an event based billing works. Now here again just like for consumption based model and subscription based model we will see in our live system how event based model data flows so here again we are in the som fury app this time let's see for how event based model works. So here we have created a subscription order 80364. This time 
we have used a product which is of one time type it is known it is uh, activation product if you see over here you would observe that just like how during the recurring based model we had the value determined directly at the value recurring fields here we can see the values in value one time field just like in subscription based model here also instead of choosing sap cc we chose to run directly with our subscription order management to convergent invoicing module as a refresher let me show you as you can see we only have a usage rate over here we do not have either <coughs> we do not have either uh, recurring or one time usage so let's see also if you would have observed you would have find that here the contract number is not present this is also by design for event based order event based model we do not need to create a contract number sap will directly create the billing uh, billable item from the subscription order itself we show you if we see over here you can see again that the transaction type is different and also the source transaction id has um, subscription order as the initials with a different pattern just like in consumption based model and event based model the billable item will be firstly having the status as billable and then after doing billing and invoicing the status changed to invoiced here if we see the charge incurred is 40 inr now if we see the billing document can see that all the details are present similarly if we go to the invoicing document then under invoicing document if we go to posting document and then see this document 500182 we can see amount 40 has been incurred on this gl account now if we want to see whether this 500182 is present in the fika monitor also or not we can check that as well here we can see that our document 500182 is present this is also past due on 16th march but we can see the amount of 40 so with this we have now understood okay uh, let me show you the same in the figure as well so in case of event based model or one time charge model first the subscription order got created and then instead of subscription contract getting created which was the case in both consumption based model and subscription based model from subscription order automatically it bypassed all the intermediary steps and posted directly a billable item this billable item 
then again follows the same traditional route that once it undergoes filling and then it undergoes invoicing it creates a billing document and then invoicing document and with the invoicing document getting created the GL account posting happens in SAP FICA so I hope with this now we have understood how these three business models which is consumption based business model subscription based business model and even based business models are different from one another and how each of these business model work in the life system apart from that we also have one more special case which we will see in our next session till then thank you